baby or your hips. Just close your eyes for a while. Take a few moments to notice your natural rhythm, your natural growth. Take a few moments to visualize your spine as a straight line, creating a sense of union between the earth and the sky. Just visualize yourself in between these two elements, noticing the support coming from the earth and the nourishment coming from the sky. Start breathing in the nostrils and out through your soft lips. Promote a sense of relaxation in the muscles of your face, in the muscles of your shoulders and arms. Just a couple of natural breaths here. And when you feel ready, start drawing big circles with the spine to smooth free. Move in one way and in the opposite direction. Just release tensions from the upper part of the body. Awakening the spine, releasing the shoulders, releasing head and neck. Right here, exploring the range of movement of the spine and pelvis and and neck. One more big circle, and as we heave, we travel back to center, back to a neutral position. As we heave, we stretch the spine up. We open the front of the body to the sky. See if you can move up, stretch the front of the neck. And as you let say to swoop the spine, arch the spine to the back as you bring the chin close to the chest. And keep flowing this way, inhaling, you lift them, stretch you open the front of the body. And as you let say to your soft lips, notice all the space that you're offering to the back of the body in between each and every single vertebra. Deep and long breaths. Try to visualize the spine moving like a wave. One more time. As we heave, we travel back to a neutral position and we start stretching the arms to the sky. Bring your palms together, lift the gaze up, and as you exhale, just push the air down as you bring the chin close to the chest. Inhaling, stretch the arms, lift the spine up, and as you exhale, push the air down. Find your rhythm. Every time you inhale, just visualize the body getting new energy, getting nourishment from the sky, and every time you exhale, just Push all the patients down far away from your body, from the shoulders, from the arms, from the back of the neck. One more time, the dynamic way. As we heave, we stretch the arms up. We bring the spine back into neutral position. Stay with your palms together in Namaskara Mudra. As we heave, we stretch the arms up, we lift the spine. And as we exhale, we bend to the left. Inhale, we travel back to center. And as we exhale, we bend to the right. Keep flowing from side to side. Notice what is happening in the spine, in the sides of your body. Try to visualize all the extra space that you're offering to your body. Feel your buttocks and the sitting bones grounded on your mat. You're just using the outer part of the body. One more time from each side. Inhaling, we travel back to center. Just ground the right wrist with the left hand. As you inhale, stretch the arm up. And as you exhale, bend to the right. Just stay in the starting pose for a couple of breaths. Visualize 
right side becomes longer and longer as you keep stretching <coughs> through the left hand, stretching the arm. Just one more full breath here. And as a heel, maybe we travel back to center and we change sides. So drop left wrist with the right hand, inhaling, stretch. And as you wave, same you bend to the right. Keep stretching the arm, using the right hand, promoting a sense of space in the left side of the body. You can look up, you can look down, choose what is good for your neck. Inhaling, we travel back to center, cross the fingers, turn the palms to face the sky. Inhaling, stretch the arms up, and as you exhale, to face Inhale, up, and as we exhale, release all the tension. Just one more time. With the next inhale, stretch the arms as much as you can. And as you exhale, just bring the arms in one line with the shoulders and start drawing big circles, big rotations. Inhale, we stretch the arms up and as we exhale, release the arms down. Try to synchronize these big circles, these rotations with your natural breath. So inhale, you stretch the arms up to elongate the sides of the body to stretch the spine. And every time we exhale, we just freeze the arms down. In through the nostrils, out through your soft lips. Just one more time. And then change sense of direction. You try not to lose this sense of connection between movement and your natural breath. Stay fully focused with this natural rhythm. Inhaling, you lift and stretch. And every time you exhale, you get a chance to release all the tension. Down. One more big circle. And as we inhale, we bring the arms back and one line with the shoulders. We place the left elbow on top of the right one. Cross the arms. Just find your comfort with your palms. Keep the forearms in front of your gaze just for a couple of breaths to notice a, a nice sense of stretching the upper back and the shoulder blades. As we inhale, we start lifting the elbows up. We open the gaze to the sky. And as we exhale, we bring the elbows down close to the belly button as we arch the spine to the back. As we bring the chin close to the chest. Inhale again, we stretch the arms up. We open the front of the body. And as we exhale, we move down, arching the spine, rounding the spine to the back to create more space for every single vertebra. Just find your rhythm. Inhaling, you stretch the arms up. And as you exhale, you travel down.
Notice the pose on the side if you feel any difference between the left and the right side of the body. One more full breath. 
here, moving the head from side to side. And as we inhale, we bring the head back to center. Inhale, stretch the left arm to the sky, opening the left side of the body. And as we exhale, we travel back. Inhale, we stretch the arm. Notice the extra space that you're offering to the body. And as you exhale, travel down. Release all the tensions to travel. One more time in a dynamic way. And we next be made to stay in the static pose. Stretch the arm up, draw rotations to the left wrist. One way and in the opposite direction. Just play with the left wrist to stimulate the circulation. To nourish the left side of the body. From here with the next knee and see if you can stretch the left arm over your head to feel the left side of the body fully extended. Keep stretching for the left fingers. The intention here is to create more and more space in the left side of the body for yourself, for the baby, for your breath. Keep stretching, stretching, stretching. One more full breath here. And as we exhale, we can release the pulse down, release the torso, release the arm, release your head and neck. Inhale, lift the A, stretch the arms up. And as you exhale, just release the arms down. Place the left hand behind the left bottom. Spread your fingers, feel the left hand rounded and supportive. And as we inhale, we start lifting and stretching the front of the body, squeezing the bottom. As we exhale, we travel back. Inhale, we lift and stretch, opening the front of the body. Keep your buttocks strong to support the spine, to support the lower back and the womb. One more time in a dynamic way. As we inhale, we stay in the static pose. So lift your body up, draw rotations with the right wrist. You can look at the sky. You can look down, choose what is good for your neck today. Don't stress your neck. Just one more full breath here. And as we exhale, we can release the pulse, traveling back, lead the buttons. From here to stretch the left leg. Keep your feet engaged at 90 degrees. Place your palms just in front of your pelvic floor. Inhale, push through the palms to lift the spine up, to stretch the front of the body, to open the gaze to the sky. And as we exhale, start walking the palms far away from the pelvic floor, releasing head and neck. Just stay in the static pose. Release tensions from your head and neck. Look down. Look at the belly button to stretch the back of the neck. And feel, try to feel the space <coughs> that you're offering to the back of the legs and lower back. You can move your head to the left and to the right. In a gentle way, no effort, be soft. One more full right here. And as we inhale, we bring the head back to center. Inhale, lift the gaze up, and as you exhale, just swap your palms back to the pelvic floor as you bring the spine back into a neutral position. Cross the fingers, cross your hands in front of your chest. Inhale, move the spine to the back, and as you exhale, start drawing big circles, big rotations. Inhale, back to center, and as we exhale, we bend forward. Keep flowing in a smooth and gentle way. Try to visualize this movement as a way to offer a massage to your body, to your baby. Try to visualize the range of movement of the spine as we stretch the back of the legs, as we stretch the lower back. Keep your feet engaged at 90 degrees as much as you can. Just one more big circle this way and then we change the sense of direction. See if you can keep the arms and shoulders 
solved. No patience, no effort with the upper part of the body. One more big circle here. And as we heal and we travel back to center, as we exhale, we just release the arms down. Bend the right knee, bring the right foot close to the pelvic floor, and just move the torso to face left leg. Keep the left foot engaged at 90 degrees. Inhale, stretch the arms up, open the gaze to the side. And as you exhale, bend forward. Release your head and neck. And again, inhale, we stretch the arms, we open the gaze up. And as we exhale, we bend forward. Find your rhythm and start noticing the pose on this side. See if you can feel the difference between the left and the right side of the body without judging, without forcing. Be always gentle and soft with your body. One more time in an dynamic way. And with the next exhale, just stay in the static pose of Janu Shishasana. Release your head and neck down. Find your comfort with your palms. Again, you can stay on top of the left leg. You can stay with your palms on the ground. Close your eyes for a while. Release tensions from forehead, eyebrows, cheeks, and nose. And when you feel ready, start moving your head to the left and to the right. Visualize yourself saying no to tension, to worries, to fears and stress. One more full breath here. And as we inhale, we bring the head back to center. Inhaling, we start lifting and stretching the right arm to the sky. And as we exhale, release. Inhaling, we lift and and as we exhale, release. Just keep following in a dynamic way, preparing the body for the static pose. One more time. And with the next inhale, just stay. Stretch the arm up. Start drawing rotations to the right wrist. Find what is good for your neck. You can look up or down. We don't want to create any extra tensions in the neck. Be always soft and gentle. And with the next inhale, stretch the right arm over your head. Keep stretching through the right fingertips to elongate, to stretch the right side of the body as much as you can, promoting space, promoting nourishment. Notice the difference between this side and the opposite one. Just a couple of natural breaths here. And as we exhale, we just release the force, release the torso down to gravity force. <coughs> Inhaling, we lift the gaze, we stretch the arms up. And as we exhale, we release the arms down. Place the right hand behind the buttock. Spread your fingers. And when you're ready, inhale, squeeze the buttock. Stretch the front of the body to the sky. And as you exhale, release. Inhale, lift and stretch. Feel the right arm as a pillar, supporting the torso, supporting the shoulders. One more time, a dynamic way. And the next inhale, just stay in the static pose. So stretch the arm up. Please the buttocks, draw rotations with the left wrist. Just to stimulate the circulation in the left side of the body. One more full breath here. Keep your buttocks strong as much as you can. And as you exhale, begin the pose. Travel back to a sitting position. Bend the left knee, flow into all four. Stay with your palms under the shoulders. Spread your fingers as much as you can. Stay with your knees at a distance. Put your knees under your hips. Just look down 
Release your head and neck. Feel the spine free from tension. Just a couple of natural breaths here. And when you feel ready, start drawing big circles on your wrists, <coughs> on your knees. Full free. Nothing right or wrong here. Just play with your body. Play with your spine. Play with the sides of the body. We are looking for a sense of freedom. We are looking for a sense of space, especially in the back of the body, especially in the spine and lower back. Releasing the upper part of the body to gravity force. We are just using gravity force to release tension. It's very good. One more full breath here. And as we inhale, we travel back to center. Be ready to flow into arm and leg stretch. So again, check your alignment. Bring your palms under the shoulders. Spread your fingers. As we inhale, we start lifting and stretching. Right leg, left arm. You can look in front of you. You can look down. And as you exhale, travel back. Change side. Keep flowing from side to side. Notice your sense of balance. Every time you inhale, see if you can. Squeeze your buttocks to lift the legs up. Find the strength in your buttocks. Keep breathing in through the nostrils and out through your soft lips. Just one more time for each side. Right leg down, bring the knee back, and we'll 
and be ready to practice the pose on the opposite side. So inhaling, stretch the left leg, tuck the big toe on your mat. Inhaling, lift and stretch the left arm, squeezing the left button. And as you exhale, release the left arm. Inhaling, lift and stretch. And as you exhale, release. Notice the difference between this side and the opposite one. Keep the left butter strong. We are just using the lower part of the body. We are just building strength in the lower part of the body. So see if you can release your head and neck. No tension in the muscles of your face. One more time in a dynamic way. And as we inhale, we stay in the static pose. So lift the leg up and draw rotations with the left ankle one way and in the opposite direction. Just to stimulate the circulation. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, release the left leg down. Bring the knee back on your mat and push the body back into all four. Tuck the toes on your mat and inhaling, push the body up into downward facing dog, <coughs> bend your knees, bend, <coughs> make little steps in an alternate way, bending your knees in an alternate way. See if you can look at the belly button to stretch the back of the neck. Well, we're just stimulating the circulation in the lower part of the body, spreading the circulation from the toes all the way up to the pelvis spine to the womb to nourish the space that you're offering to your way. Just a couple of natural breaths here. And as we exhale, we travel back into all four. So bring your knees down. Spread your, spread your knees wider than your hips distance. Keep the big toes together so the big toes are touching. Bring your palms under your shoulders. Just notice your alignment. Spread your fingers. Look down, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, start arching the spine to the side as you bring the buttocks close to the feet. Inhaling, we push the body back into all four, lifting the gaze up, stretching the front of the body. And again, as we exhale, we arch the spine to the side, we bring the buttocks close to the feet, and inhaling, we slide the body into all four, pushing through the palms. Find your rhythm, feel the arms and shoulders strong. Feel your palms grounded. Every time you exhale, notice a stretch in the back of your body, in the spine and the lower back. And every time you inhale, visualize the sense of space that you're offering to the front of the body, from the pubic bone to the front of your neck. Just one more time in a dynamic way. And as we inhale, we bring the body back into all four. Bring your knees under your hips. Tuck the toes on your mat. And again, as you heave in, just push the body back into all four. Walk your feet, bend your knees in an alternate way. Look at the bend button. Just a couple of natural breaths here. And as you heave in, you bring the feet closer. So the feet are touching. Inhale, you come top of the toes. And as we exhale, we move the heels to the right as we release the buttocks down, bending the knees. Inhale back to center, stretching the legs, moving the top of the toes. And as we exhale, we bend the knees, moving the heels to the left. Keep flowing from side to side. Every time you bend your knees, just notice the stretch in the sides of your body. Just one more time for each side. And as we heave in, we travel back to center. Stay with your knees bent and start walking your palms close to the feet. Use your left heel as a support, as a way to roll the spine up, falling into a standing position. Just release the shoulders 
back and down. Stay with your legs <coughs> at your distance. Put the toes looking forward <coughs> or to the side. Place your palms on top of the hips and just roll big circles, big rotations. Just move one way and in the opposite direction. Move freely, nothing right or wrong. Just play with your joints. It's a way to slow down, it's a way to travel back to the natural world. <coughs> One more big circle, moving freely. And as we heat in, we travel back to center. Stay with your legs slightly wider than your hips distance with the toes looking outside. Bend your knees, place your palms on top of the legs as a support, so feel your legs strong and full <coughs> As we heave, we stretch the spine up, we open the gaze to the sky. And as we exhale, we arch the spine to the back, moving the chin close to the chest. Inhale, we lift the spine up, we open the gaze to the sky. And as we exhale, we move to the back. We're practicing a variation of Majjayasana, a standing variation. <coughs> we strengthen the legs and butt. One more time, a dynamic way. And next, he may you can stretch your legs, you can bring the body back into standing position. Spread your legs wider, then your hips distance to the toes looking outside. Bring your palms on top of the hips. Inhale, lift the spine up and chest and shoulders. And as you bend your head, expand your knees, flowing into the goddess pose. Inhale up, and as we exhale, we bend the knees, stretching the pelvis, stretching the hips. As we build strength in the legs and buttocks. Just one more time in a dynamic way, preparing the lower part of the body. With the next exhale, just stay in the static pose. So stay with your knees bent. Place the right forearm on top of the thigh. Inhale, stretch the left arm over your head. And as you exhale, change side. Place the left forearm on top of the thigh. And inhale, stretch the right hand over your head. Keep flowing from side to side. Inhale, we stretch, and as we exhale, we change side. Very good. One more time for each side. And we the next exhale, just travel back to your center. Stay with your knees bent. Inhale, stretch the legs, stretch the arms up. And as you exhale, bend your knees, releasing patience with the arms, releasing patience with the upper part of the body. Inhale, we stretch. And as we exhale, release patience from the shoulders and arms. Just one more time. Stretch the arms up and as you exhale, just release all the tensions down. Bring your feet closer. We will practice one more standing position using the wall. So just find a spot on the wall. Coming from external world. 
stay fully focused to the range of movement of your pelvis. One more big circle. And as we heal, we travel back to a neutral position. Make a few steps to the back, stretching the legs to the back so you can feel the body, the back of the body, and one straight line completely supported by the wall. Inhaling, we stretch the right leg to the back. As we exhale, we bend the right knee and we start drawing big circles with the right hip. The intention here is just to explore the internal and the external rotation of the right hip. One more big circle this way and then we change sense of direction. Just explore the range of movement of the right hip, offering more space to the joint. With no stress for the upper back, for the shoulders, for head and neck. One more big circle here. And as we exhale, we just release the right foot down. Be ready to practice the pose with the opposite side. So when you're ready, stretch the left leg to the back, bend the left knee, and again, big circles. Just start with one sense of direction. When you feel ready, change side. Exploring the pose, exploring your body, exploring the left side of your body, the left hip. Notice the difference between this side and the opposite one. Just one more big circle playing with the left hip. And as we get in, we can travel back with the left foot on the front, start walking your feet close to the wall. And as you might say, you can release the arms down. You can travel back to your mat for the last standing position. Just spread your legs wider than your hips distance. With the toes looking outside, bend your knees. Place your palms on top of the legs. Inhale, release the spine, we open the gaze up. And as we exhale, we twist to the left. See if you can look back. Inhale, we travel back to center. And as we exhale, we twist to the right. Very safe and gentle spinal twist, offering more flexibility to the spine, absorbing nourishment in the lungs, in your heart, for yourself and for the baby. Just one more time in a dynamic way for each side. Preparing head and neck for full 
rotations. So as you heave, they start growing full rotations with your head and then inhaling you with the tip of the nose up. And as you exhale, you bring the chin close to the chest. And then change the sense of direction, keep flowing from side to side. And notice all the space that you are creating in the sides of your neck and the shoulders. Spread softness, spread relaxation all over your body, from the top of your head, from the muscles of your face, all the way down into the shoulders and arms, into the ribcage, into the womb, and pelvis, and legs. This one more big circle for each side. Spreading this sense of softness, breath by breath. And as we exhale, we travel back with the chin close to the chest. Inhaling, we stretch the arms up, we bring the palms together. And as we exhale, we just release the palms in Namaskar over in front of the chest. Just relax the shoulders, feel the elbows heavy. And try to visualize a sense of union, a sense of connection between your palms. promoting union between the left and the right side of your body, between your logical and emotional side of yourself. Just a couple of natural breaths here to notice to visualize this warm energy in between your palms. When you feel ready, just drop the palms to create more warm energy. Place the left hand on top of your heart and the right one on top of the belly button. Just visualize this gentle touch, this warm energy, nourishing yourself, nourishing your heart, nourishing the womb, nourishing the space that you're offering to your baby. This lovely place where your baby is growing. Release your head and neck down. Move all your senses inside to notice what is happening under your palms. Notice the rhythm of your body. Visualize this sense of connection, this sense of union running from the left hand to the right one. Powerful of natural breaths here to fully appreciate, to fully honor this connection running from yourself to the baby, from heart to heart. Try to visualize your baby surrounded by all your love, by all your joy and happiness, by all your sense of gratitude. When you feel ready, start hovering and massage to your body, to your baby, as a way to express your gratitude to every single organ, to every <coughs> single cell. You can put a smile on your face as an expression of this gratitude. And as a he may, we bring the palms back in Namaskara Mudra. He may, we stretch the arms to the side. It's the same time.